It was a special trip, a first in years, traveling from Tuticor in India to Colombo, Sri Lanka. On this boat, there were just over 40 refugees making their way home. Grace Salvarani lived in a refugee camp in India for two decades. On this day, she and her family are among the first Sri Lankan refugees to disembark. <laughs> Passengers coming by ferry have advantages over those traveling by air. They're allowed to transport up to 150 kilograms of luggage each, more than seven times what they can bring by air. War forced Grace and thousands of other Sri Lankans to leave their villages and country for their own safety. In 2009, the country's long conflict ended. Throughout the world, we don't have many situations where a solution has been found and people can either return to their home or settle where they are. Fortunately, Sri Lanka is one country where there's no more conflict. People are able to return voluntarily in safety and in dignity. All refugees get a grant to help them get back to their villages and some supplies. Grace had family waiting for her in her village of Mana. She moved in with her daughter and to her joy she finally met her grandchildren. But the decision to come back is not always easy. Still, many refugees are returning. This year, UNHCR has helped more than 2,000 Sri Lankan refugees return home. The voluntary repatriation program will continue next year.